Hi everyone, what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, no, you, you, hey, you guys. <laughs> What's up, everyone? <laughs> everyone. Hi, everybody. Hi, you guys. So this is Alicia, you guys. Hi, my name is Alicia Cibola, and um, I am a singer-songwriter. I live in Hanover, Germany, but I am from Houston, Texas. And I've been in Germany for almost two years now. And are you having fun? I am. I'm having a lot of fun now. Yeah. But in the beginning, it wasn't that fun. It takes time to get used to everything and like find where you fit in the community, I guess, and like find out like to make friends yeah. and to, you know, get acclimated to the culture and everything. So it, it takes time. But now I do, I do love it here. And you fit in like... You have a very awesome group of people that surround you that are helpful, that I do, like, I don't know, bend over backwards for no, you. They're good people, yeah. I have yeah. Good, really good friends here. So. Yeah. I met some of her friends, you guys, before you think, what in the world? Like, I've been staying with her for a few days, mm -hmm. and I've met, like, a lot of her friends, a lot of people that she works with, and they're just all very nice and mm -hmm. kind. They and, are. And also, what do you feel about, how do you feel about Hanover? Like, everyone says it's the most boring city. Let me say, <laughs> it's not boring, you guys. <laughs> And the people here are so amazing. <laughs> the like energy is so good here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think um, at first I thought it was boring because yeah. I'm used to this like super fast paced American mm -hmm. stuff, you know, entertainment and everything. And I do sometimes think it's a little bit boring. I mean, I feel like it's more slow paced. Yeah. But if you know where to go and what to do, and you have good friends and stuff, then then you will never be bored here. Yeah. It it can be sometimes, but for the most part, it's pretty. So how long, or actually not how long, you, when did you start performing, like in general? In general. And I, singing? Since I was very young, mm -hmm. um, I was singing in school and at church mm -hmm. and um, basically my whole life. For me, it's always been a part of my life. Then when I moved here, mm -hmm. I started about a year ago. Like we're coming up on like, in August, it'll be a year that I was performing and that I've been performing in Germany. So for the first year here, because what what did you come here for? So I came here for school. I started a program and technically I'm still a student here. And I really felt like, I don't know if this is for me. And I was trying to figure out the direction that I wanted to go because it wasn't exactly what I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Um, my master's program, the university was super, super nice. Everybody was cool. But I just, I felt like, is this the direction I want to go? Mm -hmm. Or do I want to do what I love? And a few years ago, I had started um, like releasing music and stuff in Houston, mm -hmm. and then I just got really unmotivated because it just, I don't know, I just, I guess I was sad and just, it wasn't going the way I wanted to, to go, yeah. and I felt very discouraged, mm -hmm. and I kind of just stopped. I was like, I'm not doing this, it's too stressful, it's too expensive, it's not worth it, and, but music is like, for me, it's the thing that keeps me going, it fuels me. Yeah, it's your so passion. It's my passion. Yep. So imagine me not doing it for a few years. I really started feeling like I was losing myself. Yeah. Like, what am I doing? Like, I'm not, um, you know, living my, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? My, uh, your truth. Yeah, my truth. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't yeah. doing what I was supposed to be doing. And so when I got here, I met all of these awesome musicians and I just, it all happened because I was like at a bar and I was about to ask how yeah. did you meet them all? <laughs> yeah. Yep. So I was at a bar. The owner of the bar was like, Hey, do you sing? And I said, <laughs> Yes. And like I guess they saw on Instagram or something. He said, Well, when are you gonna come play here? And I said, Well, I don't have a band, like I just moved here. I don't know anybody. Yeah. And he was like, I, I can introduce you to a guitarist. And so he introduced me the literally the next day, introduced me to a guitarist. And then that guitarist introduced me to other people and other people and then like the network just started to grow and then I had a band within like, I don't know, like a month I had a band. That's crazy. Yeah, it was, it happened really fast. <laughs> <laughs> it was really fast. I was like, Ooh. and now like the network is, is here and I'm surrounded by awesome musicians and they push me, you know, yeah. they were like, you need to do your own music and very encouraging. Like some of the songs I'd never even played for people before. Really? I never played live before. Yeah, girl, like I was scared to sing my own music. I would be too though, if you've yeah. never sung in front of an audience and just how they receive it. How they receive it, yeah. Because yeah. it's personal. It's yeah. like, I, I write based on what's happening in my life and what has happened. Yeah. So it feels like, you know, I'm writing in a journal and when you when you sing those words to people, mm -hmm. it's like they they know all your business. <laughs> it's like, oh girl, like you were going through hard times. <laughs> So yeah, but they're very encouraging. They were like, sing your own songs. Like you can do it. Just very, very uplifting, very strong music community here that I didn't have when I was in the States. With your music, 
Have you written, 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 oh, written any That's that Southern, that's that Florida coming out. <laughs> have, you, have you written any songs in Germany? Since I've been here. Yeah. I have, actually. Yeah. Um, I've written, hmm, I've written at least two or three songs here. But they're in English, they're not in German or that's, anything. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I don't sing in German. We sing, <laughs> <laughs> we sing in English. <laughs> <laughs> I have a really like upbeat one called Hold On Me that I wrote with two other musicians I here. I love this song. You like that Everyone song? loves this song. I wrote Just Hold On Me and then there's another one called Bluebird that um, we didn't play so you didn't hear it yet yeah. but I'll let you listen to it. It's, like, it's an encouraging song. It's about just like not giving up and even though the road is hard and like things are tough, you don't give up. You just, you just try, just keep going. Eventually you'll get where you want to go. So I try to do that. I try to have uplifting music and like music with a message mm -hmm. that's important to me i want people to hear my stuff and either feel like okay i can get through this or yeah. that they learn something that's my favorite type of music i love everything though i love all genres i love everything you know we have country music in yeah, common we have a lot of i could listen to country music every day yeah same. yeah i got mike on country music really yeah he loves he likes it he now. loves oh, that's, that's like his cool. favorite genre of music he's so happy wow. in the car play country yes that is awesome. Yep. Yeah, I always see like whenever you guys are riding in the car and there's country, I'm like, I bet Haley put it on. But now I know that Mike likes it. Yeah, Mike, <laughs> like, Mike loves it. Mike is the first one that when he turns on the music, he's like, can we listen to my playlist or your playlist? Mm. And his playlist is country. So Germany, has it inspired you musically or Absolutely. not so much? Really? Yeah, yeah, it has. It's made me like take my craft more seriously mm -hmm. um, because I here I've realized like I can actually make a career out of this like yeah. I'm not trying to be Beyonce you know yeah. I'm not trying to be Rihanna yeah. I'm just trying to be me yeah. and make money and to do and doing what I love yep. that it has inspired me in that way and I've met musicians that have helped me to become a better writer and a better performer so it is inspiring I think yep. and when I write tunes it's like I said, based on life experiences. Mm -hmm. So here, moving here just in itself is an experience, you know? So I have been able to kind of pull from that. And yeah, and I recorded some stuff here already. Like I recorded in a studio. Oh, yeah. I have, my EP is gonna probably come out next month mm -hmm. with six songs, original songs on it. So yeah, it's definitely been like very motivating. And you've been working. Yeah. Like you, she does so much. You do, do. everything by yourself. I mean, aside from like the people that do the technical stuff yeah. and like the other members in the band, you mostly organize everything. Mm -hmm. Like get there, do everything. Thing and I'm just like you don't have anyone that I mean you have a few people that help but most of the time you're yeah I'm doing it you're, alone yeah one man show a one man show and yep. it's it's not easy yeah. it is hard but I realize like if I don't do it who's gonna do it yeah I think that you have to work a certain amount of time and then you can like hire management and stuff yes like i would love to have a manager but i just feel like we got to get our stuff together and then eventually we could hire someone yep. to, to do all that but you do for musicians it, it, there's a lot of self-management you have to be organized you have to answer emails which i'm not always good at doing <laughs> no but you're answering a lot of emails it's a lot yeah <laughs> she's seen it you guys saw, like yeah. she's been here like me not sleeping like she's like how do you wake up so early I, it, it's because i have to yeah like, I don't have a choice and then there's rehearsals and organizing all the people and sometimes there's different bands playing for different gigs so you gotta figure all that out and so yeah it's a lot but I do it because I love it if I didn't have this I don't know what I would do yep I don't know what I would do like for me this is my this outlet. is my life yeah and yep. it's my outlet and yep. it's not about the money for me it's just about me being happy yep. and I'm happy when I'm singing I'm happy when I'm writing I'm happy when I'm entertaining people and when I'm with you know my friends and but that's the kind of thing that drives me and what's keeping me so sane here <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say because a lot of people they don't see what goes on like behind closed doors mm -hmm. or anything like that. They just see the end product, which is you pretty, you know, yeah. everything working, everything going smooth, yeah. but they don't see the, like everything else that goes behind it. Yeah. I think that's also no matter where you're at in the world, like you see an entertainer, but they think, oh, they're just blessed mm -hmm. to have a voice. They're just blessed to have, you know, this talent, but it's not every, um, not everyone, but a lot of people do have talent, but they don't know how to like, make it into something bigger yeah, yeah. like a business or yeah. Yeah, a brand a brand you're a brand yeah that's mm -hmm. and that's one thing i'm still learning too yeah. like i'm trying i'm doing my best to 
to and how you respond to stuff and, and how, how you, you yeah, yeah. <laughs> how you respond to people girl the dms and like and you know about yes this. Yep. she knows because she gets comments and things and i don't know how how you deal with that like because for me like i get like I one get, person says upset. the wrong thing to me and i'm like hey alicia and she's like alicia no don't do it don't no. respond don't say anything yep. because you have to be above the bs yeah you have to be yep. above it you have to be present things in a very uh you know polite and kind way yep. and that's not always easy for me i'm a nice girl <laughs> but you know don't cross me it's 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 not easy but um yeah, I'm learning. It's a learning process for sure. Tell me about your performances. Like, what are some cool performances that you've had? You don't have to say names or anything. Okay. But just like some cool performances that you've had. Like, are you into what do you prefer? Like, bigger venues, smaller venues? Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, um,. I think it depends. I love when, like being on a big stage. Yep. Like I love a proper stage with like <laughs> lights and like yes. sound crew and like in your monitoring, like the fancy schmancy yep. like stuff. That's like the best stuff you can get as a performer because then you don't have to worry about anything. Mm -hmm. You just show up. You plug in your microphone, or or they plug in your microphone, <laughs> and you just go to town. But I also really like small intimate settings as well no. like in a little bar in a little cafe one guitar or two guitars like sometimes that's very nice to do that for people and they're yeah. very appreciative i've played on the street like i also really love doing street music like yeah. that's something that we were doing a lot during the pandemic because like everything got shut down girl all the gigs were getting yeah. canceled but i i for me as long as there's an audience there that's the most important thing but in this quarantine time we got to grow and learn as performers because we still had gigs but there were live stream gigs so then i had to learn about a different side of this business of like coordinating stuff that's like live or yeah. online or camera like you know there'd be eight cameras and i have to like figure out what i'm doing yeah. and so that all of that is very very important but i think for me the most important thing is having people there yeah. i want them to hear me and feel something and be moved mm -hmm. so that's that's the most important thing for me so i went to one of her shows and the amount of people that came up afterwards, mm. the German people, they were just so thankful and grateful mm. that you played for them and that you were amazing. I was honestly shocked because I've never seen like German people like that before. <laughs> for really? Me, yes, where they're just like coming up to you, talking to you, and letting you know that they're so that grateful. They like, yeah. Yes, and so open and so welcoming. Yeah, they are. Yeah. They definitely are. Like, I... My first experience dealing with people here was when I would do street music. They'd be mm -hmm. like, why are you performing on the street? And I'd be like, yes. well, because there's nowhere else for me to sing, yeah. you know? Sometimes it takes that and you get opportunities. And But everybody's so nice. Like, that's very heartwarming yes. as a musician, too, yeah. because it lets you know that, like, okay, I'm doing something right. Like, yeah. people like this. People enjoy this. They usually always do. Someone always comes up. Yeah. <laughs> Someone always is like, well. And they, they're, they'll ask because they'll be like, do you live here? And I'm no. like, yeah. And they're like, really? And I'm like, yeah. I live here. I live in Hanover. So, you know, I'm still kind of like making my uh, way around the scene here. Like, even though I've been doing it for a year, it's still, it takes a lot of time for people to like know who you are, especially if you are, if you don't have a label and yeah. if you're just like an independent artist, like you have to really put in like years of work to yeah. get to a certain level. The feedback is important. That's one thing I will say, like, about German audiences too is that they're they're different from American audiences but it depends on where you are like I've been I've played in like little towns where yeah. like the people they just like they it's obvious that they like what they hear but they're quiet <laughs> oh, like they sit there and yes. watch you and they're like yep and then when the song is over you know and yep. I'm like oh my goodness <laughs> like because you sing the song and you feel like okay am I like is this bad you like, just want someone to do a woo yes yes <laughs> but I've also played here in Hanover in small little places and everybody was like yeah yeah but they were drinking and everybody yes. was a little tipsy but corona definitely changed that because some of the gigs we played people had to sit like in oh. their chairs or to be distanced or had to be yeah. so it was you couldn't get up and dance and have a good time and that definitely put kind of a damper on things but you could tell and I think that you're still not a allowed to like dance around and stuff still like to this day but there were people at your performance like they were wanting to stand up they were yeah. wanting to dance they were like feeling it yeah. but they couldn't they weren't allowed to but I also realized that not that many people because in the United States like when someone's like you know you got a good run and you're like Whoa! Yeah. yeah and that doesn't really happen here people are more like 
They're more um, calm. Yeah. It depends on the audience and it depends on where you, you're at. So like the place that we went that, that I played at a couple days ago, mm -hmm. normally that place is like wild. Like, really? Yes. Like, I mean, I but I did, hear, I did hear people like yell and also I feel like in the like later part of the evening, people were a little bit more tipsy. Yeah, they had, they had more a little cocktails. bit more alcohol, mm -hmm. and they were a little bit more, I guess, free. They they mm -hmm. didn't have such a guard up or anything like that. I wanted <laughs> to ask you what's like the hardest part for you when it comes to like lockdown and not being able to perform. What's like the hardest part of that? I think it's the uncertainty. Yeah. It's like the not knowing yeah. when things are gonna happen because I can always meet with my musicians. Yeah. And I can always make music yep. but being able to perform for people yep. and not knowing if like the gig next month is canceled like i had so many gigs get canceled you guys this last year or rescheduled like i had one that was supposed to happen in december and it's now happening in september because like we oh, went like yeah. all the way they just kept pushing it back like yep. we don't know we don't know so it's like that's what it is because you can't plan yep. you can't plan when you don't know and everybody's in the same boat so like you know if you're playing with musicians who also are in three other bands. It's like everybody's stuff is all yep. mixed up and jumbled up. I don't mind if I know if they say for sure, okay, next two months, no performances. And then I can handle that. I can use that two months. I would like that too. Yeah, you can do other stuff to like, maybe you say, okay, I want to focus on doing like my Facebook or yeah. making other type of content for other like social media platforms. And you'll always have something to do. I feel like you, most of the time, I mean, as long as you're not in lockdown for a long time, you'll have mm -hmm. a lot of stuff to do. You have a lot of content that you can go through and create yeah. interesting things. That's one thing that I'm like, not that good at is like, I have so many videos, girl. Like I, I always know. have videos of my stuff mm -hmm. and it's all just sitting on my computer and I'm overwhelmed. Yeah, it's, I, it's overwhelming. Like, I'm Especially like, when you have like 30 different clips and you're like, oh, oh. oh. yeah, that's me on YouTube. Girl, and I'm I don't here. know how you do it. It's, it's, I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but you've achieved, you have achieved, you, ooh, you have achieved, you have achieved You have a lot. achieved, yeah. Yeah. Thank, yeah like, I even like I you have. said, like, with your music video, you did that in Germany. I did. I yeah. did. We, did. we filmed it here. Yeah. And, um, we, we tried to make it exactly what I wanted, you yeah. know, I put a lot of work into it. You and did. I had a really it was good like director. multiple days. Yeah, it was like a four day shoot. I feel like when you do something, you just have to do it right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very particular about stuff like that. Yeah. And I and I kept telling myself I have to watch this for the rest of my life. <laughs> That's true. So you have it to like to it. be what I want. <laughs> you it have was, to like it. Exactly. And it was hard work, but it was it was absolutely worth it. You know. And and going back to what you said about achieving things and mm -hmm. like getting to a certain point. A year ago, I I said when I start this. I want to accomplish these certain things. Mm -hmm. I'm really big into like writing down your goals and like manifesting. Yep. Yes, exactly. And taking the actions necessary. And there were so many things on my list that I've been able to do this last year mm -hmm. and that are coming. Last year I said, I want to play festivals. Like I want to get into some festivals and that's what we're doing. We're getting into festivals that yeah. are happening. So it's, it takes time, but you have to do the work. Yes. You have to. A lot of people have things that they want and that they like and that they want to do. Yep. And, and want instant gratification. Instant gratification. Or yep. they're thinking like, I want this thing. How can I? Or they complain. How yeah. can I? But you have to take the steps. Yep. You have to do it. The small steps too. Like even for you, it's like this slow process. First I'm doing this. Then I'm making a video. Then I'm putting out my EP. Then yes. I'm doing, I'm making my songs. And it's nice to have, how do you say, is it a catalog of just, I don't know, everything that you do. Mm. Because when someone comes and they only see one video of you or yeah. one performance of you. you know, like me on YouTube, when you have like a bunch of videos that are just like memories and mm. stuff of everything that you've done, not even for you, for other people as well, because they yeah. like watching that too. Mm. It's also nice to see how you've grown. Grown, yes. exactly. I was just thinking that. Yep, and like even so, you, yes, you think like a few years ago, you were like, oh, I'm the most amazing singer out there. And then you think today, like, that's- oh, girl, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're like, There's some bad recordings of me out there. <laughs> There's <Woo! laughs> That's the same though, like for me with YouTube, I'm like, oh my gosh, this video was amazing. And then I go back and I'm like two years ago and I'm like, oh. I can't believe I made this video. And then I keep it up there because I'm like, this was a moment in my life. In your life. And that's the same with you. Your music as well has such a, um, like, I don't know, an internal like memory for you it does and it literally too because the songs are they're about my life yeah so sometimes i perform a song and i'm like oh my god it takes me back to when i wrote it and why i wrote it or who i wrote it about because girl i got songs about people too <laughs> 
about, I do. I have songs about the people in my past, you know? So sometimes you'll hear those songs and you're like, oh my gosh. And then sometimes I, I'll be like, I don't want to perform that song. Yeah. And the band is like, well, why not? We love that song. Like, it's a good song. And I'm like, but, because like, it, for me, it takes me to a place that I don't want to go to. Yeah. But then I have to realize, like, you recorded it, you put it out for people. So you and have a responsibility yes. to perform it, whether you like the song or not. Yep. What does your family feel about this? Oh my gosh. Are they like <sighs> proud of you? Are they like scared for you? They're proud. Because you're in another, I mean, I would be proud if you were my daughter, like you were in another country and you were just having fun yeah. and doing something that you're passionate about. I'd be very, 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 Ooh, proud. very proud of you. Yeah. My mom is super proud. Yeah. My mom is like my biggest supporter for music has always been since I was a little kid. Yeah. When I was really small, I used to be shy to sing in front of people. And she would be like, like we'd have guests over and she'd be like, go sing, get in the living room, come sing. But that's good that she did that. I'm glad she did, but I hated her for it. <laughs> was younger I oh I used to get really like upset like please don't make me do this yeah. you know? but now I can look back and see why she did it yeah. but at the time I felt like well I'm not a show pony like I'm not here to perform for your yeah. friends and whatever but she knew there was something there and that's why she did that and so I'm very grateful and I love her to death my family is very supportive they love the music they always are sharing my stuff and they're happy oh. and yeah they're just wonderful they worry about are you by yourself do you have friends exactly. and I think she's happy knowing that I'm surrounded by good people yeah. And I'm safe and I'm, you know, I'm able to do what I love. Definitely very supportive. But do you like it so far? I do like it. Yeah. I do like it and I, I, I mean, I have my little complaints, you know. Yeah. We've talked about that. Yeah, that's, off I mean, camera. that's, yeah, that's normal though for everyone to have complaints about things. It's nothing that would ever cause me to leave. Yep. Like, I really like my life here. Yeah. I feel relax like even though like there's a lot going on like i'm always like oh my god Haley, you have so much to do because like she's been here the last few days so she's seen the running around yeah. that we have to do but overall i'm not stressed but when i was in the states like i would get so stressed out yeah. about bills mostly bills yes. about like just trying to take care of everything but here i feel at peace mm -hmm. i feel calm i feel secure that's that's something that i didn't have living in america as much as i loved living in america living here is has definitely been a, a benefit for my life i was gonna say and also it helps you with your with your music yes because you can focus yes a lot of time and energy on something that you want to do and that you're passionate about yes and i and i get more opportunities here yeah then i yeah i think sure. so too because supply and demand Mm -hmm. You know, there is a demand for entertainment. There's a demand for good entertainment. Mm -hmm. And your entertainment is good, but it's also something that you can't find. Something that's not that common. Before we go, do you have anything that you want to say that you think I missed? I want to say... I want to say thank you to you and I, I've been telling people this story all week for your viewers so that yeah. they know. I started watching your videos way before I decided to move to Germany. Yeah. Like I was trying to decide should I move to Germany. So it was years ago, like more than not two years ago because that's when that's I came, but it was like probably like four years ago when I was like, oh gosh, like there's this girl on YouTube. Your, your channel really, really helps me and it helps a lot of people. And so I just want the viewers to know that like, you guys, Haley is awesome. <laughs> you guys already know this, but in person, like she's a really nice person. She's a good person. She is talented. She's strong. She's funny and um, crazy and, crazy <laughs> yeah, and like, it's been such a joy to have you here and I just want to say that like she was very influential in my decision to come here. So and I was so, a stepping yeah. stone. You so were. basically, you know, this amazing mu music that Hanover is getting, is, getting is, is because, because of you. you. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, the Hanover, you need to thank me. Okay. No. <laughs> thank the girl. Where are my flowers? This work that you're doing, because it's, I mean, it's, I know this is what you love, but it's also work. Yeah. It's a labor in it's, a way. Yeah. And so, yeah, keep going, keep doing it, and keep inspiring people. You're very important to us, for real. So, yeah, you guys be nice in her comments or I'm coming after you. Yeah, <laughs> that's so true. I, I will, hmm. <laughs> I will. I'll do it. This is my friend. Yeah, that's okay? true. So yeah. But seriously. Thank you. Thank you. I will list everything down below for you. Okay. I will list videos, Instagram, you have Facebook, you have YouTube. I'm trying to think what else you have. Everything. Yeah. You know? Everything. And you can check it out. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> leave, leave a like. Thank so, y'all. Bye, you guys. Bye. Bye.